Okay, this is Jim Maroney recording a video for Tennessee Tech University for their CSC 1300 course. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your computer for C++ programming and compiling uh, if you're using Mac OS. There's already a video out for the Windows users if you need that, uh, but today we're just going to be going over Mac OS. So at some point during your introduction lecture and, or uh, skim through iLearn, you should have found something that says getting your computer set up. I don't exactly know where it is because I don't have access to your specific iLearn, uh, but somewhere in the content folder of your uh, iLearn materials you should find something like this. Yours will be a docx uh, file, but I've just converted this to PDF to make it a little bit more easy to scan through while I'm video. So once you have that down and downloaded, let's take a look at it. And you might be, you know, tempted to just jump right into it, jump right here and start following all these programs without reading too much. Usually that's what I do. My, you know, monkey brain goes right to <laughs> clicking on the pictures and stuff like that. But if you do that, you're going to be a little bit lost because MinGW is a Windows program. That's not what we're looking for. It's a uh, open source compiler. We're going to be using something that should be native to Mac, but if you're if you have a brand new computer or you're just starting out in this, uh, there are just a few things that we have to go through. So we're going to go to the table of contents and look for Visual Studio Code on Mac OS, page 13. Let's scroll all the way down to 13. Actually, on page 14 here, <laughs> at least according to this, we'll find Visual Studio Code on Mac OS. And it's going to tell us where we need to go, what we need to download, what we need to type in to find all the files necessary, that being Visual Studio Code and Clang. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to click on this link right here. That should bring up a window. We're going to go to the Mac version, click Download, click Allow. And that's going to take a little bit of time to pick up and download there. Okay, it just finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this, open in Finder, and we're going to take Visual Studio and drag it directly into our applications like you do with almost anything else. Once you've done that, scroll down. Since it starts with V, it'll be right at the bottom. And we're going to click to open that. It'll open up in your dock. You want to allow it and stuff like that. And you should get this uh, window here. Yours won't be as, as flickery as... The, well, it actually isn't flickering that much. On previous attempts at recording this, this was a, a very flickery program. We might run into that. Uh, for you, it shouldn't be that way. For me, it's just because I'm running uh, Mac OS and a VM on Windows right now, a virtual machine. That's why you see like this bar up here and, and this stuff down here. So once we've got it open, uh, the people at the computer science department, because Visual Studio Code is an industry standard and in what you'll be using for most of your C++ stuff, uh, would like you to go down here, go to Options, right-click on that, obviously, right-click on your program, go to Options, and then click Keep in Doc. All right, and once you've got this open, we're going to go down to this little symbol right here, these four little squares, label Extensions. I'm going to click on that. And it should be in popular, but if you don't see it, just type in C slash, and it should be the first one here. You're going to want to click on that, and then click Install. Now, while that's setting up, we're going to do another thing. We're going to go ahead and hit the, the things I just said, or all this right here. Uh, we're going to go down here, and it's going to ask you to verify if Clang is installed. Now, Clang is your compiler. That is what will take the code that you write and convert it into something that the uh, computer can understand and execute. So, in order to run this, you're going to want to open up your terminal. Now, I have my terminal kept in my dock down here, but in case you don't, it's pretty easy. Uh, the easiest way to do it is go into Launchpad. Go up here, type Terminal, and it should be right there and that will open up an instance of terminal. Now you're going to type right here. This has a little uh, cache sign here, but don't worry about that. That's just this symbol right there. We're going to type clang hyphen hyphen version. Now when I executed that, when I hit enter on that command, it tells me, you know, it gives me a little error here. No developer tools will were found. 
And usually, it'll prompt you, if that's the case, it'll prompt you if you want to install Clang and developer tools. You just hit agree, sign all these things that no one ever reads. Now, if this doesn't come up, or you're having problems later on, uh, and this was never never popped up, you're going to go ahead and want to run this command here, xcode-select space hyphen hyphen install. But in most cases, this little dialog box will pop up, and it will give you a prompt to install it. Okay, that says it's installed. So we should be able to go down here and type cling hyphen hyphen version, or hit up on your arrow pad if you don't feel like typing that. And it'll tell us that we have everything that we need, hopefully. <laughs> And now the next thing on the list here, this is finished installing, but we're going to do one more thing. Minimize that. So the next thing on the list here, it's wanting to create a folder to keep all of your projects in for this class. So you can put this anywhere for the sake of this video. I'm going to put it on my desktop. So I'm just going to right click, hit new folder, and label that. Go ahead and label that projects, if it'll let me rename it. There you go. Projects. Put that there. Uh, and once you've created your folder, we're going <laughs> to go in here. We're going to create another folder. Now, this folder that you're in right now is just your overarching collection of programs that you've written. For each project that you want to start, for each program that you're actually going to write, you're going to want to make a separate folder. So we'll go ahead and call this one Hello World, because that's what everyone does for the first program. Once we've named that Hello World, we're going to double click it to open it. Now that we're in the Hello World directory, we can just move this aside. Close out your applications. All right. I'm sorry if things jumped around a little bit on my screen or got resized. I had to take care of something that wasn't quite working. So once you've got your C slash C++ extension installed and you've taken care of uh, checking to see if Clang is installed or installing it if need be, we're going to go right back up to these two little pieces of paper called Explorer here. And we're going to go Open Folder here. We're going to navigate to wherever we have our Projects folder, which is on my desktop in my Projects. And we're going to go to Hello World, which is the program that we're trying to create. Hit Open. It'll bring us into a new window here. And we're going to go to this little piece of paper that looks like a plus. It's going to open up a box that's prompting us for a, a file name. We're going to type in hello world.cpp. Now everything after the period is fairly important because it's an extension. And an extension tells not only the computer, but more importantly in, in our case here, uh, Visual Studio Code, what language it's trying to interpret as you type. So after we have it typed in, we're going to hit enter. It's going to open us up into Hello World. Okay, sorry for another little jump here. Just for ease of use, I've opened up the docx version of getting your computer set up because if you try and copy paste from PDF, just from the way it's saved, uh, it'll, it'll basically mess up your formatting a lot. But if you copy from the docx, you should be perfectly fine. Just go ahead and select all that. Control C, or Command C, Command V, and again, everything should be perfectly fine after you do this. You're going to hit Command S to save that, or you can right click on it, click sa save, go up here to file, save, million ways to do everything. <laughs> so after you have that saved, we're going to go up to terminal as per our instructions here, up to the little tab that says terminal here. We're going to click on it. We're going to hit Configure Default Build Task. And it's going to drop down a little option box for us here. We're going to go to the Clang++ Build Active File. And that's going to give us a JSON file, tasks.json. And there's some stuff in there, but we want it to be just a little bit different. So once again, copy from your docx file. This entire string of text here, entire block, Command-C. Select all this, Command V. Now, if you just outright copy it and try and leave them, try and press save and then compile, 
and go on with the thing, it won't work. There's a tiny little error, at least in the version that I have, the version that you're looking at may be fixed uh, by the time you do this. But right under this green text here, this comment, you're gonna wanna go in here and put a open curly bracket and we'll try and autocomplete that for you. Just delete the closing curly bracket and that should fix everything on your screen here. And I actually missed the closing curly bracket when I copy and pasted it. So you won't have to add this last one as long as you copy and paste everything. But this beginning one here, you'll definitely have to add as long as it's not fixed. <laughs> so once you have that, once you fixed everything, hit Command S to save again. We're going to go back to our Hello World tab. We're going to go back up to Terminal here. And we're, instead of going to Configure, we're just going to Run Build Task. It'll drop down that... Oh, well, it actually didn't. Usually it'll drop down a another option box here that says, you know, all the same things it did. You're just going to click on uh, run cling plus plus build task file or something like that. So after that, you'll see here, yeah, you're, a little dialog box will drop down from up here. You're going to want to click on the one that says cling plus plus build active file. So once you do that, uh, it'll give you this little bit of output here. You're going to hit this plus here, and it's going to open up a new bash terminal, and it should open up, that's uh, born again shell, a new bash terminal, and it should open it up in hello world, the file that you're in. And you're just going to type, and it'll actually tell you this here, I believe, once you scroll down enough. It's actually wanting you to go ahead and type out the terminal command for, uh, like, list your subdirectory. So just ls, and it should tell you everything in there. To run it, we're just going to hit period slash. That specifies that you want everything before this in the file path. Period slash, hello world. And it should output, you know, these strings combined here. Hello C++ world from VS Code and the C++ extension. And if you've done everything correctly, uh, that should be it. You should be ready to write anything you want, compile anything you want, as long as you follow the few basic steps for setting up a new project, like creating your folder and stuff like that. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you run into any road bumps along the way when you're replicating this, feel free to email uh, any of the TAs or join the Git Help Discord server. Feel free to jump on Slack and ask any of the TAs in your lab or in your class a question. And, well, I hope this has been helpful to you.